Good morning. It is 8 a.m. and we've been pretty productive so far this morning. We got up and we got some coffee. We got the laundry started. And yesterday there was a bit of a line. There's a lot of hikers. We're, we're in a pretty cool bubble. This is probably the most hikers we've seen at any hotel. Um, yeah, probably by far. The lobby for breakfast was full of hikers. Uh, we had ha ha breakfast with Menace this morning. He's going to get off trail for about a week or so and then do a little flipping around. So sad to see him go, but hopefully we'll run into him later. Um, we got the, our clothes are already done washed. They're in the dryer now. We had to get those dry because we bought some permethrin yesterday, and we're going to permethrin some of our stuff because we have seen a few ticks. Um, I need to edit a video and upload, do some of that kind of stuff. Just I need to shave my head. I'm going to go ahead and trim this beard one more time, and then I'm not going to carry that razor anymore. I'm going to give myself a little bit of a pack shake down because I've been carrying a few things. Well, all my luxury items that I got in LA, and we need to part with those. And I just need to go through a couple other things. I think there's at least one or two other things I can probably part with. Um, so yeah, today's going to just be a chill day. We got all day to, to mess around here. We probably would go to the brewery later for a, a meal. And we heard there's going to be a good band there tonight. So I don't know. We'll see what, we, what we're feeling up to when tonight comes much rest we get today you see the table right there full of all my resupply items i need to get all that packed and just kind of do some leisurely chores today so i don't know what's next but uh i'll be back when something's next okay i've got something new it's only been about 10 minutes hammer got this uh new fancy sleeping pad sometime like last year right last year yeah and um it he already fixed one hole in it I don't really know anything about these pads. It maybe is a great pad. Uh, you like it for the most part, right? Yeah, it's got a higher R value. Um, oh, it does. What's the R value? It's like R6. Oh, so it's like equivalent to an X therm. Yeah, probably. Yeah, okay. Like lighter, I think. Um, yeah. I got a Nemo because I had so many problems with therm arrests. Yeah. But I'm not having much better luck with this. Well, he's going to blow it up and go play in the bathtub and find the new leak. I did you all the favor of not recording it, but I cut my toenails. I bought some emery boards to keep it all filed and clean at the store. Did all that. I'll put the extras in the hiker box. Um, we got the clothes out of the laundry. Hammer and I are about to go spray um, some of our outerwear with permethrin. And um, I'm done with coffee already today. It's only 10 to 9. I've moved on to a bubbly seltzer water. And I'm in the middle of a banana, trying to get a little bit of healthy stuff in here. And then I still got chips and salad and some other stuff for later. So I don't know yet. We'll probably, we'll probably say we're going to eat lunch here, all the vegetables and stuff that we bought. And we'll eat that by 10. And then by 1130, Hammer's going to be like, hey, you want to go get pizza? Or something like that. I did not do any video in, until now. Hammer and I are treating all of our outerwear with permethrin because we found some ticks so we're just hiker trashing out here on the curb and I got my stuff blowing away but it's okay as long as it gets dry over here we got Hollywood and Menace all right we haven't done a hiker interview in probably a week or two and Menace and I have been talking about doing this since Cajon Pass McDonald's. And every time our paths have crossed, it's just not been a good time to sit down and, and do it. So this is Menace. Menace, where are you from? Central California. I live in the foothills of the Sierras, so Ooh. I will be jumping off at some point to go home. Okay. And so are you going home for anything um, important? Um, sleep in my bed. <laughs> Aren't you going home for like a, your grand... Charles birthday? I'm actually uh, jumping off here in Tehachapi and flying to Texas uh, for my okay. grandson's second birthday. Oh, wow. That, I didn't realize you had to fly to Texas for that, yeah. so that's cool. That's where my kids live. Oh, okay. So are you from here and you, or they just went to Texas? I grew up in Monterey, Cali, uh, Monterey County, California, and okay. eventually moved over to the valley, uh, live in the foothills. I actually live about an hour from Yosemite. 
Okay. So you're not a stranger to the Sierra. I know you've told me you've done it before. I've done a lot of uh, stuff in the Sierras, and I even as a kid, I summited Whitney. Oh, cool. I'm excited for Whitney. Um, so what is your, do you have any other aspirations for big hikes after this one? Uh, I've wanted to do the AT. Um, I'm 62, and uh, that may play a part in whether I do it or not. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of people, though, that are like new retirees. Um, do you know Nimblewill Nomad? You know who that is? I uh, know. I've heard of the name. Yeah, he set the record the year I hiked in 2022 to be the oldest person to ever through hike. And he was, man, I don't remember, 83 or 86 or something. Um, I met the guy a couple times. He's he's an impressive dude. No, everything except for my feet are playing well for uh, this so far. And uh, I will get back on the trail with a new pair of shoes, so I expect things to be a little bit better. And I may have to swap out shoes a little bit quicker than I have. So what shoes are you using? I'm using the Ultras. That's what okay. I uh, trained with. And I like it with some uh, arch support in them. Okay. Um, you know, some cork arch support. Um, they kind of fail in the snow and in the water. Okay. And then are you using the Olympus or Lone Peaks? The Lone Peaks. Okay. I really like the six. And yeah. Things have uh, taken a turn. Yeah, I think that's true. We've been talking about that even with the Hoka's. I, my first pair of Hoka's only lasted 250 miles on this trail. And I've recently switched to Topo's, which seem to be working okay. Um, you know, have you tried the Olympus? Because those are a way more max cushion shoe. Maybe that helped with your... No, um, I have tried uh, the Hoka's before. Yeah. And I've never had a heel blister with uh, the Ultras. Um, right. But I know where they uh, affect me, so that yeah. might be an option. Okay. So what is your favorite piece of gear that you have with you on this hike? Uh, probably my favorite piece of gear right now is my tent. I have okay. a um, Big Agnes. Okay. Uh, uh, Copper Spur. Copper Spur. And uh, the other night I had uh, nonstop 40 mile an hour winds. Um, and it, I was trying to support the tent while I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> And finally, I gave up and let the tent do itself, and it handled it. Loved yeah. It. You know, it seems that like Z Packs and Big Agnes are pretty much the, on this trail and the AT, they seem to be the, the main tents you see out there. Yeah, it, uh, it's a little bit heavier than some of the tents that are out here, but yeah. I'm real happy with it. Yeah. I like the uh, freestanding. Right. All right. Well, thank you very much, Menace. We're going to miss you when you jump off here. Hopefully, we cross paths again when we get further north. It keeps happening. Yeah, it does. 11.30 a.m. All the permethrinning, if that's a word, is done. And I just made myself a kale pecan salad in a bag. Like, literally, I'm going to eat it out of the bag. Hammer had bought this big thing of uh, chicken salad, and he's got some green peppers, and he's eating over there. So we're trying to get some some good calories here for a little bit and then we're gonna either probably go to the pool or something um i'm thinking that's gonna be the afternoon probably for now i think pretty much all the chores are done i trimmed my beard one last time shaved my head and i am getting rid of the electric razor i carried from la and the razor i've been carrying the whole time for my head because i have a new one in the box to kennedy meadows and i am headed down to the pool hammer's already down here and I still have to edit a video or two and get them uploaded. So I'll probably work on that a little bit this afternoon and just relax and get some zeroing in on the zero day. I'm back up at the room after spending some time in the hot tub and then doing some editing down by the pool and Right now I'm having a Nut Butter Protein Plus Banana Honey 30 gram of protein shake, I guess. Smoothie probably is what it is. And then I'm going to have some sea salt chips next. <laughs> and then I'm just going to lay here for a bit and take a little bit of a nap, I think. It is about 6 p.m. And I actually took a nap for probably an hour and a half today. And it has been just a very relaxing day. I've been drinking lots of water, hydrating. And super responsible. Um, I'm kind of getting a little stir crazy now. I'm not really hungry. I've been eating some junk. Um, but Hammer bought so much food. He has got like a huge tub of chicken salad uh, to eat still. So I don't think we're going to probably go anywhere to eat 
I've been wanting some pasta and there is a place right down the road that has lasagna. So I may do that and just go pick it up to go. I'm not sure yet. So I'm going to say good night right now because I need to get this video edited and uploaded tonight. Uh, we have a ride arranged for at eight o'clock tomorrow morning. So I think that's pretty much going to be it for today. So thank you all again for watching and we'll see you back on trail tomorrow.